This thing's out here shining. 1969 Pontiac Firebird. Beautiful car. 354 speed. Power steer, power brakes. Guys, of course, I take them down the road and point out flaws so you know what you get before you get here. It is very windy today. Sorry about that for the video. Uh, I'm going to cut some wind cancellation stuff on. I'm probably going to order the mic kit that comes with this camera and start messing around with it. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping available at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Checking out our interior. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? This one's showing 25,000 miles. It's hard to stand behind mileage in a 1969 model. Think about how old that is and how much stuff has changed through the years. The seats are in great shape. Back seat on this one, pretty good. Your package tray is clean. Your headliner, little loose. So, you know what I call that? A mechanic's headliner. Because I got new material, just didn't get it super tight. Poster guy knows how to get it tight. A little rip there on your visor. This visor over here looks better. Dash pad. Of course, you can buy dash pads, but this one's good. And of course, the carpet looks good. Missing a radio. It's for one in the glove box. Missing a glove box. The lighting kind of sucks today. Um, what I'm meaning is for videoing the sun's not in the right spot. We'll go ahead and start her up Okay, looking around on the dash looks like we have uh, gas Pretty simple. We'll try our wipers Wipers do work turn signals Both sides are working. Horn, well, let's try this first. Blower motor, not working. Let's try that horn. Ready? Nope. Horn's not hooked up, guys. We'll hit the road and see how she runs and drives. All right, guys, getting ready to take off here. Go ahead and get my seat belt on. I'm hoping this guy doesn't park in our entrance here. It looks like he's going to. I'll pull up there, hopefully he sees me and moves on. Seatbelt's a little stiff there. There it goes. All right. Let's go ahead. Oh, I gotta put her in gear, apparently. There we go. Checking our brakes. Come on up, man. Ooh, exhaust sounds kind of wild. Belt squeaky on this one though. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna have to go tell this guy to move. Okay, <laughs> what a little mess. That's why I don't like people parking in front of the gate. It took him forever to move. Here we go. Now, we're ready to go. Spring popping in the front there. Steering's a little off on this one. It's going straight as an arrow, but the steering's kind of sticky here. It's a little tight. It makes any sense. Speedometer's not working. Brakes are good. Pretty smooth. Springs are popping a lot in front.
have to get gas. We already have gas. You got to make sure you jam it into gear there. Hear it grinding. popping in the front. I don't know if I've already said that, but they definitely are. Back in the first year. It takes me a second. Let's go watch this. There it is. A little bump in the road here. Stiff in the rear. And we'll go ahead and pull over here. Get some outside shots. Get some undercarriage shots, light some stuff up. And we'll get to know this car a little bit more. And this one so far, as I'm driving it, you really gotta stick the gears. Make sure they're in there. Uh, your third is the only one that I noticed that was the one that you really have to stick. So your second, third, fourth. They're all going in, they're doing just fine. With me, first time ever taking this car down the road, which it is. I'm still learning that kind of stuff. So. Everything's a little different here, each and every car. Outside shots coming your way, undercarriage. Let's do it.
guys, I just did like all the outside shots, walked around this car. I can't wait to see this walk around video. This is such a green puff car. Uh, paints in beautiful shape, the fender wells, the trunk, everything is shiny. I didn't know, you know, I, I, when I do these test drives, this is the first time I experience these cars. So, y'all just wait. Picking out the flaws, coming up next. All right, picking out the flaws. Let's walk this ride. New headlight bezels. Ice clean. Little cracks there. Spot there. Spot in the corner there. Little pitting on your grill. Tires are in good shape. Little spot there. I mean, one thing, the body on this car looks awesome. New bumpers. I know it ain't helping the camera at all. Back of the nose, got some slight scratches on it, but I think they'll come off. Now the trunk in this thing, I'll get in there, but it looks awesome. Behind the tag too. Check this out. Cannot ask for a better setup there. Spare tire, really clean in here. Panels are even shiny. Yeah. This is awesome. My buddy's been wanting a 69 Firebird. He's he not quite there yet. But this one right here would be pretty good. Adjust out the clutch and fix those springs in the front and just roll with it. This thing feels like a pretty good car overall and I'm seeing nothing but good here. So this is awesome. Coming down. That's right. Line up for me. She just a baby cake. It's perfect. All right, coming down this side. Good tread on our tires. Up and over our fender well, fender well here. Down the side. Just super clean. Oh, did I see a ding? Nothing that's going to show up on the camera, and you hardly see it in real in in present life here. But there was a little bit of a wrinkle there. It's <laughs> it's nothing. I'm being way too picky because this one's so clean. I haven't found hardly anything on it that stands out. It wasn't even worth me saying anything. You can't even see it from this direction. New handles. Just little speck there. Man, all my personal cars got more flaws than this one. little blemish there just a dimple in the paint your trim there is new your windshield on the sides slick mirrors good roof on this one
Body wise, that's a good looking car. I mean, look in the fender wells. Seriously. I bet the underside, I had, I just did the video where I went over it, but underside of this thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know I said I wanted a Camaro, but... You got some little spots here in your reverse lights. You also got a spot over here in this reverse light. All right, let's go ahead and check out that interior. Door panels clean. Seals look good. Jams look perfect. Underside of that door. What a cream puff. Didn't even pull the tags. Ah, oh, you got some scratches here. Steering column. Back seat's new. You can see them scratches from the inside of the windshield a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. It's not really popping up on my camera. Light little scuffs there. I'm just wondering if they can be taken out. And yeah, yeah, headliner is new, but it needs to be stretched. Right guy, right place. Have you fixed right up. The boot there looks new. Her shifter. Tray ain't sitting in there, right? This car doesn't need very much. Put new valve covers on it. exhaust leak and you can hear it Calm me down a little. <laughs> Coming down when it's hood. Just nice. It can be adjusted a little bit better up here in the corner. The spring's a little high. Same with this side, just a little high. Push it down there. But it's not bad at all. I'm just being picky. That's my job. Yeah, thanks for watching. I enjoyed this test drive quite a bit. It's a very clean car.
Lifestyle Pictures Finance and Shipping at MaplePromotions.com. You know what to do. Hit subscribe. Share this video. That's going to help me out quite a bit. And I got two more cars I want to get done today. There's a lot of rain coming in. You can notice this video is a little bit different. A whole lot of rain coming in the next two days. So I need to get them done now. Let's go back to the lot. Thanks for watching.